y'all. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Little Ways, Little Things. This is going to be a little bit of a different video today. It's going to be a little bit more like a vlog than a just a regular video. Um, I wasn't sure if I was going to post at all during the pandemic because I want to be very respectful about, um, you know, touching on subjects or, or just talking about things when I don't know what all of you are going through. I don't know what your family may or may not be going through. I hope, I hope that you are just um, spending time getting your kids moving forward with their homeschooling and watching movies and eating popcorn and going for walks. Um, I really hope that's what you're doing, but I also know that there's many of you out there that are considered essential and they're your doctors or pharmacists or nurses or um, grocery store checkers, um, people that work in restaurants, truckers. I know that you have to be out or members of your family are essential personnel and they have to be out. And I just, um, I thank you so much. America thanks you, but I just want to be really respectful with my videos during this time about what you as a family may be going through. So there's just each family is different and I know that each family is going through something different. We are doing really well here. We are super blessed and um, so I, I thought that since it looks like we are not out of the woods yet, and it is going to be another few weeks before we see um, things kind of start to level off. I thought that I would ease into some videos again, and um, I thought that I would start today by just kind of, like I said, vlogging and taking you along and showing you what I'm doing um, all day, kind of um, just, just to see how we're handling things. We are so blessed because um, my daughter goes to college and so her college shut down and she's been able to work from home on her classes and um, my husband is a school teacher so he has been working from home so neither one of them have to leave i can um, work from home and um, i have a, a very small job outside of the home which i'm doing here right now remotely but i can also i also spend a lot of my time taking care of everybody else um make sure everybody's fed we also live um have we have another like mother-in-law's suite or garage apartment type thing for my mom so she's over there and i'm just just trying to make sure that everything is clean and everyone's well fed so i thought i would show you a little bit of how i prepared um for this um and what we're doing every day i have actually a box of growth products to open for you so that's gonna be fun I hope you enjoy watching that I'm gonna show you how I'm doing that and um, that's it I'm gonna show you my pantry and a few things that I'm doing during the day and then um, uh, hopefully we can pick up in a couple days with some basic craft type videos what I'm doing is putting on some gloves which I did find um, that I had a lot of gloves um, from Dollar Tree projects where I was painting because I, I found those while I was cleaning out my craft room the other day. So I was really glad about that. I am going to be using a Clorox wipes that I also found in my craft room. Um, I'm going to just take out everything and wipe it. I wiped down the box and let it sit in the front room for a couple days. So I feel pretty confident about getting the stuff, the goodies out of here. I'm just going to wipe it down and let it sit. I just have this little um, mat here and I'm going to let everything sit on there and dry off. Um, so let's get started. This will be fun, right? Um, okay. The first thing I have is this big bottle of... Um, it's called daily shower refill and it's a method product and the reason I love this is because it does help keep the soap scum down in your shower so it's made by method and I have a refillable bottle upstairs and I love it it keeps the uh, soap scum down in your shower I really I think it really does work 
I'm not for sure, but I think it does. It does for me anyway. Um, this is also by Method, and it's some all-purpose, naturally derived cleaning wipes in pink grapefruit. Um, I'm not sure about the germs and the bugs, like if it keeps that. I'm not sure what's in it. Um, right now, I think I'm going to have to stick with my Clorox, but I'm going to do some research on this. And I'm going to figure out if it will be good. But I thought at the very least, um, right now, it's going to help out with a lot of the grease and stuff. I really wanted the, it for my stove. So, we'll see. But I'm going to check it out. Maybe it's good. For, I don't know. It doesn't say. I'm going to check it out and see if it can work. So, here's a mint hand soap. This is a Mrs. Myers mint hand soap. So, I'm just going to wipe that off. And that is going to, I think, yeah, I ordered the, my regular package of three. So here's the dish soap that goes with it. All right. So that'll sit in those, that little, um, I have that ceramic tray on my sink. And that is where those go. But there's usually a cleaner that goes with it. And here it is. So it is mint, Mrs. Meyers. And it is the mint scent for spraying. Just kind of give it a little wipe here. And, um, you know, I love to have that little tray. In fact, it was a deal. There was a deal. I have to get the deals. So inside is a stoneware tray. And this is what I usually set in front of my sink with those three products on it. Oh, this one's so pretty. Look at that. So, so pretty. It'll just kind of sit in front of my sink with all three. Let's see if I can do this without dropping all three products on it. So, I'm excited to put that up. That's going to be fun for spring. And I started using this a couple months ago. It's the Rooted Beauty Purifying Cleanser. I facial cleanser. I started using it and it, it worked really, really well for me. Um, I, I tried using another one of those Yes brand products and I broke out in some hives. So actually, um, this one I didn't break out in and I'm gonna be using that and of course, because because you know me I had to go ahead and um, buy the matching moisturizer and I think somewhere in there so there's the moisturizer the face wash and of course you know growth all the products are um, and this is the eye deep deep puffing eye gel Oh, it's a candle it's a little candle this was free this you know if you join and I'll put the link down below for Grove it's got all non-toxic products that are healthy for you and healthy for your home so I'll put a link down below where you can get some products for free and um, it's just a really great great company and all the time they're sending me free stuff so that little candle was free from that rooted beauty um, brand of products I believe this was free also. Um, this came free because, um, I don't know if it was like my order totaled $60 or something like that, but this was free also. And these are just facial towelettes. I love these if I'm too lazy to take my makeup off at night, which is a no-no, but I have been known to use those makeup wipes. When we were having the shortage last week of everyone in the stores buying up all the hand soap. I had plenty because I had one or two of these and this is a concentrate. And so it um, really lasts a long time. Here is my pantry. I know it's very messy. I did not clean up any of the pantry. So this is how it really looks. I'm a little bit nervous to show everybody, but I also have a door here on the side that is full of spices, all kinds of spices and things like that. So here's my messy, messy pantry. Um, 
that's an ice bucket. The second level is where I keep all of my baking goods. Come in here. So there's um, some pancake mixes, some flour. That flour tub is always full, but I usually don't keep extra flour, but um, a couple weeks ago I did get two extra five pound bags of flour and put them in the freezer outside just in case. And that's all baking stuff, corn, meal, that sort of thing. Let's see, what else can I show you? I have just like all my oils and stuff there. Canned goods in these mason jars. Back here I have some extra rice. There's brown rice in one, white rice in the other. All my cans are there. In this first bin I have like potatoes and um, mashed potatoes, quinoa, that sort of thing. In here I have some different kinds of pastas that are in boxes. I have some rice aronis, mac and cheese. When this started, the mac and cheese was all the way out to here, but it's been eaten. This is just a box full of, um, I don't know, miscellaneous stuff. There's some pretzels, some granola, some combos, some marshmallows. Um, down here at the bottom, let's see if I can, down here I have a, um, a basket that has rice, uh, pasta, rice, and beans in it. And down there you can see that's my paper towels and extra garbage bags. Uh, that's a box of peanut butter. Oh, here are the bins with um, chips. This box down here, this one, let's see if I can get down there. That This one at the bottom has fruit and this one at the top has nuts. There's more chips. That's just where I keep my to-go cups. This shelf keeps a crock pot and some extra cookies. Back here is where I kind of keep my stash of stuff that I got for the kind of the stay at home order. Um, when I knew that it was coming, I did go to the grocery store and um, I tried not to hoard or whatever, but the, your idea of hoarding and mine might be a little bit different. I basically picked up an extra box of everything that I thought I would need. So instead of getting one box, I got two. Like I have two biscuits here. I have one big box of Rice Krispies. I have another pancake mix up there. Um, those puddings were already in here. I have lots of soup back there and almond milk, um, which I get from Costco. So I already had a bunch of those tubs of almond milk. Um, I got two canola oils, two relishes. I had four ragouts, but I'm down to two now. Um, some extra oil, just, just some, whatever I normally buy, I just bought one extra of basically with the exception of tomato sauce. I bought, I had a, a couple cans and I just bought extra cans of tomato sauce and some soup. Just a couple extra cans of everything, and it's been working really well. This shelf, that shelf was not here. I put that there because those cookbooks that are on that shelf are normally up here, and I cleared them off and put this bookshelf in here so that I could add those extra cans and um, this basket of extra beans and stuff. So that down there is all pet stuff paper towels the toilet paper we keep upstairs so that's the pantry every weekend i've been making a loaf of bread in my bread machine i'm going to start by adding all the liquid ingredients which i will put the recipe down below in the comments so you don't have to write it down i'm starting out with water milk and eggs and then i'm adding the flour and the instant mashed potato flakes, a little bit of sugar, and then some butter, some cut up butter. And then I'm gonna make a well in the center of the mound of flour and add some salt and the yeast.
just, it's kind of like a volcano and you make the little well in the volcano and that's where you put the yeast. And basically you just punch the buttons and it does everything for you. It does the um, kneading and the rising and the baking and it just comes out luscious and so good. My family absolutely loves this homemade bread. If you have one of these machines in the garage or in the basement, get it out, dust it off, and give this bread a try. Otherwise, check Goodwill. You can usually find them there. I'm going to show you a really quick recipe for pork loin in the crock pot. I'm dicing up a potato and then adding the pork loin roast on top. I didn't even peel the potatoes. I'm giving it some salt and pepper and a little bit of dill. And then I'm going to add my secret ingredient. It is a can of Bavarian sauerkraut. Make sure you use Bavarian sauerkraut and not just regular sauerkraut like the tart kind that you get on Reuben sandwiches. This is a sweet kind. It's just really good and it's kind of subtle so you get that sauerkraut feel but a real subtle taste so my family loves it it's kind of a family recipe we've been eating it for years there's the pork loin roast as it comes out of the crock pot sliced up and thank you so so much for watching that's gonna do it for me today please make sure you give this video a thumbs up Hit the subscribe button so you're um, subscribed to my channel. Hit the bell so you're notified the next time I upload. And please let me know in the comments how you're doing and how you're adapting to these very trying times.